let Nigeria free the Bioko members. Chadian President Idris Deby wants his troops. The President of Chad, Idris Deby, has captured or has been captured on tape, warning his soldiers not to permit Nigerian troops to release the captured Boko members or take possession of seized weapons. The viral video shared several times on social media has elicited mixed reactions from Nigerians. In the video, Debbie, who was clad in full military regalia, is seen speaking to his troops amidst cheers, saying that 90% of the bukus have been destroyed. It will be recalled that the Chadian military recorded a victory or a major victory against the sect after launching a strong offensive killing of a strong offensive killing several terrorists and recovering a huge catch of their weapons. In the video, Debbie can be heard saying this place will be our zone until Nigeria sends its soldiers. Stay with them for about a month. Do not let them free captured weapons or any big uh, Boko guys. They will return to Chad and this will just hurt us. So let them just understand we are not leaving the situation like this. In the next few days, I will speak with the president of Niger. You guys destroyed at least 90% of the Boko guys that I can that I that I confirm and can tell the world that 90% of the BH guys is destroyed the 10% that are left are running everywhere some have drowned and some run to Niger some to Nigeria but they will never come to Chad again. Chad is no place for insurgents. However, on Saturday, Nigeria's chief of army staff, Tukul Boratai, relocated to the northeast to finalize operations for a full-on offensive against remnants of the terror organization. So guys, you can hear the child president, that was the child president speaking 
although um, that was uh, French speaking also um, I just had to take um, the voice notes so what's well it's an evidence that um, you know the news is real and um, that was what he said you can also check online to see the video for yourself so guys that's what it is you know these guys have gone out of their way to actually capture these guys and tell them a huge blow so be that as it may from the way things are at the moment now you can see that the chad army have gone you know far they've actually done the major or a major job so what about nigeria Another thing I would like to point out is the fact that the Chad president was saying that do not let Nigerian soldiers free these guys or the weapons. Why would he have said that particular statement? That was a big embarrassment for our president and the Nigerian army. Because he said that they would free if Nigerian if they are released to the Nigerian army or to Nigerians, they will be freed. And they will come back to haunt Chad. You can see his mindset and his belief, saying that if the Chadian troops allow the Nigerians or hand them over to the Nigerians or allow the Nigerians to release them, that they will be freed and they will come back to haunt Chad. So, saying that these guys are not meant to be freed, they are not meant to be released, but they are meant to be dealt with or they are meant to be killed. So you can see the mindset. Now, this I can say or I think is a response to the fact that the president, our president, President Muhammadu Buhari, you know, decided to um, rehabilitate some guys. So you can see terrorists are not meant to be rehabilitated. You can rehabilitate insurgents like that of that nature. What they deserve is straight, you know, the, the, the penalty instead of trying to, you know, because they might go back to where they are coming from. What guarantee do we have that these guys will not go back to their leader? What guarantee do we have that these guys will not go back to their former ways? What guarantee do you have that these guys would not just one day wake up, look for ammunition, and begin their own operation. What guarantee do you have that these guys will not eventually turn robbers? So these are some of these challenges. Look at the image of Nigeria outside. Very battered. If the whole Chadian president can say that his troops should not release the arrested guys and the weapons they collected to Nigeria because Nigeria will release these guys and return their weapons back to them. And the guys, the Boko guys will come back to hunt the Chad Republic. So it tells you a lot that this Nigerian government and the Nigerian military have been compromised. That is just the truth. That is what he means by that statement that the Nigerian government and Nigeria they are compromised. So guys, it's really, really unfortunate that this is, you know, um, the situation of things and this is how Nigeria is seen. It is not it is not the best it is not the best in any way at all it is not the best one wouldn't expect that you know things would be like this one would expect that would have gone far one would expect that nigeria would be on the high side one would expect that you know nigeria would take charge but from the way things are right now this is not it at all so guys what are your thoughts on this particular news story for how long will Nigeria continue to fight or battle these insurgents? Just look at how long it took Chad. Because they killed 90 soldiers of the, of the Chadians. Then they prepared themselves and went to battle. Just in a week, in a few days. And look at the results they have gotten. The soldiers, they record that the, the, the uh, records of the Chadian soldiers. The result they made in just a week. To a very large extent can be said to have, you know, draft the records or the results of the Nigerian army 
over the past how many years they've been fighting these insurgents. So it goes a long way to tell you that these guys are not ready. Our government is not ready to actually, you know, wipe out these insurgents in this country. Because they have ulterior motive on raising them to siphon money. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. These are my views. Alright guys, can you drop out the comment section? Let us know what your thoughts are. What? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new story. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you.